this is the brand new Swell Pro FD2 Fisherman Max. This has a payload of 7.7 .7 pounds, can fly in 40 mile winds with a range of one mile. We're gonna test this out, fly out some big baits to see if this is the ultimate fishing drone that you can purchase. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this right here. It's already been opened, of course, but I am gonna show you what I have here to set up, all right? So this is a Swell Pro Fisherman Max, the FD2. Let's go ahead and open it up. Check it out, y'all. Here it is, fully equipped in the box. Right here out of the box, we have the drone. We got four propellers. These are carbon fiber propellers, check it out. These things are tough. I mean, this is some of the stronger materials that I've seen. Comes with two batteries here. Got one, these are fully charged, of course. Comes with a remote. Nice LCD screen here. It's a little dirty because I've been using it, of course. Been testing it out. Comes with a nice lanyard to connect your drone remote on there. And also, it comes with a little clip at the bottom that you can attach here if you want, just in case you wanna put your phone on here. This is a tool that your drone is gonna come with. You're gonna use this to tighten the propeller. This is very important. All right, so here we got the Fisherman Max out of the box. So this is gonna be the F for front, R for rear. To open this up, you have to open up the front first and then the rear, bring them back. Now, make sure when you tighten this, tighten them all the way down. We're gonna get our rotors. We're gonna match the colors here. Tighten them with your hand as much as you can and then you get your tool and you tighten it as hard. Make sure that you twist it so you can't know more. And then you get your antennas. You tighten those up. Always fly with the antennas up. All right, so here we got set it up already. This is the Swell Pro FD2 Fisherman Max out of the box, fully set up. These are some huge carbon fiber propellers. Look how big they are. As big as my forearm up to my elbow, huge propellers. We got a carbon fiber wings right here. Beautiful accent on there here. It's a big size too. This is almost, this is like 1.5 times bigger than the SD4, the Splash Drone 4. This thing is huge, but it's made like this because it has a huge payload. SD4 had a payload of five pounds. This one has 7.7, .7. huge difference. I am flying out big jackheads with one pound weights on you with no problem. I flew this bay out 800 yards on a battery charge with this drone here with the wind blowing 15 straight out of the south into the wind. We flew with no problems. One thing that I need to mention about payload. Payload is highly dependent on external factors such as weather. The wind is going to factor a lot, how much you can carry, how far, how many times with the battery. If you're going to be flying 7 pounds into 50 mile per hour winds, 20 mile per hour winds, 25 per hour winds, the drone can't do it, but do not expect to get more than two flights out of the battery. That is a lot of weight into heavy winds. It's going to require a lot of battery power to fly that drone into the ocean 500, 600 yards. You have to remember. The weight capacity is dependent on the wind. Most of the time when I'm flying this drone, I am flying out two pounds. I'm gonna be flying a giant mullet with a 12 ounce weight, 14 ounce weight into the middle of the jetties behind a third sandbar, which is about hundred yards away from the jetty. But if the wind is heavy and you're flying out heavy baits, expect your battery to drain within two or three flights. So to summarize, you can make up to six drops per charge with one battery, depending on the weather and the weather conditions. I have flown the max capacity over 500 yards with no problem, but again, the amount of drops is dependent on the wind. So here we got a one pound weight, and we got a huge chunk of jack. Check it out, y'all. We're probably pushing about six pounds right here. 
So we're gonna fly that with the FD2. Check it out, y'all. Huge bait, look how big it is. Juicy. So, so far, this year, should be able to handle this. I don't know that I would be able to fly this out on the SD4. But now with the FD2, according to the ratings, they should be able to fly this out easily. So let's do it. It's much different. It has two bait holders. Bait releases here. Let's open the first one, they load in. There we go. I do have a discount code through Swell Pro. It is Bomber SWP. The link will be in the description. And this is 10% off any drone from the Swell Pro store. One of the next important aspects about the FD2 is calibration. With the Fisherman Max, you no longer have to calibrate it. With the previous drones, such as the SD4, you did have to calibrate the drone before you flew it. I personally calibrated every every flight. I always calibrated. I wasn't taking any shortcuts. I didn't want to lose a drone. I never had a single accident. I had that drone for almost two years. When it comes to the Fisherman Max, you no longer have to calibrate, which is simple because you don't have to sit there and spin around and flip the drone up and down. You don't have to do that anymore. Just right out of the box, you can fly it up and you're good. All right, so one of my favorite things about this drone is that it is IPAX67 water. And with the attached floats, you can land in the water and it should be able to land and take off. So check this out, guys. All right, it's under. Hey, it's filming underwater too. Let's see if it takes off. When it comes to flight range, according to Swell Pro, this drone has a one mile casting range. I have flown the drone around 1,000 yards with no problem. The screen can start getting a little fuzzy if there's a lot of interference in the area. So I try to avoid flying around areas with cell towers or electric towers. Of course, if you're flying around a beach town with a lot of people, you will probably get some interference. The Fisherman Max is fitted with a waterproof 4K camera with one gimbal that can shoot in clear and clear footage. You can pan the camera up and down on the remote to scan the area you are flying. This camera is for scanning. If you're wanting to film cinematic footage, you will need to stabilize footage post-production like this. Wind resistance is one of the most important things about this drone and where it really excels. This drone has a wind resistance level of 6. This means that this drone can fly up to 40 mile winds. This is more than enough to fly in almost any condition. I've flown this drone in up to 30 mile gust easily and I've also flown it in rain. Now charging the Swoopro is pretty easy. It does come with a charging station here. Check this out. We flip the switch on the back. Turn it on. Before you connect it though, you have to connect three different attachments to charge the battery, so it's gonna have a, a, a negative, a positive, and then another charge connecting. And that goes straight to the back of the battery here. It also comes with a USB cable so you can charge your remote. Now I do wanna give you guys a tip when you charge this battery, it's gonna give you different options to choose on the power you wanna use it. So I leave mine below 4.5 amps. This is what I like to use. To me, I'm not in a hurry to charge the battery, so uh, this will take a little longer than usual, but it also ex extends the life of the battery. All right, so now that we have it completely plugged and connected, we're gonna go ahead and press enter. It's checking the battery. Then we press confirm, which is enter. There we go. It's gonna start charging. This is a fully drained battery, so it's probably gonna take about two, to, two hours to charge. 
All right, so now we got it set up. What we're gonna do is now we make sure that all our switches are up. We have it on GPS mode, okay? So this drone comes on three different modes. GPS mode is using the satellites. It's cruise mode and ATTI mode. When I start to lose signal, which doesn't happen very, very often at all, ATTI mode will maintain a fixed height, but it does not maintain a fixed position, okay? So let's go ahead and take off. The way we take off is to get these two joysticks, moving down to the bottom just like that. We are unlocked. We are ready to fly up. Check it out. Let's go ahead and give it a quick little fly around real quick and film. So we're gonna, to film, we have the very left joystick on top to video. And let's take off. Left button up, left joystick up. There we go. Check it out right there. <laughs> now for the camera usage, you have two buttons on the top of the remote. They have down to move the camera down and there's up to go up i did want to show off the return to home which is pretty accurate all right so to return to home you have to have it on gps mode we're going to switch the button here return to home and we'll see how close it gets we're going to set this right here when i do return to home it's pretty accurate most of the time it lands like right like a foot around the remote here it goes perfect look at that now, one of the most important questions that I am asked about this drone, who is this drone for? Who can use this drone? Who should get this drone? Anybody should get this drone if they want an easier time fishing. I mean, one bait, 7.7 .7 pounds, 500 yards, is gonna get you into big fish territory. If you're fishing in Texas, flying any bait, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, over the third sandbar is going to get you into big shark territory. This drone is also good for people that are fishing alone. Personally, I'm always fishing alone. I prefer to fish with a drone. I don't have two people with me to kayak out baits. I used to kayak baits when I had a fishing partner, but this is perfect for that solo angler that just wants to get off and go and fly out a bait. This drone is also great for people that are no longer physically able to kayak a bait. This drone is also good for people that want to be more efficient. Of course, when you're kayaking, it's gonna take you a long time to get out of bait, but with the drone, you can zip by somebody that's kayaking. Not under, not saying that kayaking isn't a viable option. The good thing about kayak fishing is that you can drop an unlimited amount of baits, unlimited amount of times, however far you want. It gets tiring though. This drone is gonna help you be more efficient, fly multiple baits back to back to back without getting tired. Another thing that I wanna mention about this drone is, this drone is fully manual. You are in full control. It has a learning curve. Before you fly out this drone, do not expect to be able to fly out immediately out of the box. I suggest that you read the manual, get well acquainted with the modes, GPS, ATTI, cruise mode, get to know it. Do not fly the full, max bait capacity on this drone until you've already flown other baits get to know it get some practice it's going to help you the longevity on this drone also do not forget the floats final thoughts on this drone is that it's helped me fly out some big baits out into the surf i've caught many fish i've been able to fly out baits and fish during conditions that other people aren't able to fish such as 20 mile winds gigantic breakers this drone is going to eliminate that factor because you can fly out big baits into the wind. I love this drone. I've been using it for almost a year. I've had, the only issues that I have is for getting the floats on this drone. The biggest con on this drone, of course, is the floats. I really wish that the floats would come in the same box, but unfortunately they come in a separate box, which means that you might forget them. You always have to have these flows when you fly out this drone, just in case it goes down. And to me, that is the biggest con is it does not come with the flows attached or it doesn't come in the same box. The SD4, the previous model had a floating body that was fully waterproof. And I thought that was amazing. But with the FD2, you have a much higher pound capacity. The battery is much more efficient. You can fly in bigger baits more times than the previous models and that other drones that you can buy off the market right now. Personally, I think this is an amazing drone, higher capacity. I've caught some big fish. I've been able to fly this drone in terrible conditions where it's blowing 20, 25, when other times that other anglers can be out there, they're not kayaking. This is gonna eliminate that possibility. Check it out. Overall, I am happy with this drone. The biggest con is that the floats don't come on the drone. 
or in the box. I can't believe that. But besides that, I've done some amazing things. I think this drone is worth the price tag. I love it. I can fly multiple baits. This is another tool here that's going to make you much more successful and, of course, more elite when you're out there.